Okay, for step four, um, this is basically talking about utilizing utilizing a textbook, course book. Okay, it can it could be any course book, it doesn't matter. But I um, most mainly I use Teach Yourself. Okay, an example uh, an example I want to show you guys will be from this Hindi Teach Yourself Hindi book. Okay, so after going through that technique, you know, doing that stuff, step step one, step two then you pretty much you want to start getting into this into this book or, or any course book you have but I will highly recommend teach yourself so I'm going to show you guys how to utilize a textbook okay using the technique at the same time so as you guys as you guys have seen in the um, in the in the um, outline I took a dialogue I wrote it out from this Hindi teach yourself and it was basically a conversation between, um, yeah, it was basically a conversation between Top, Kamala, and Raj. Yeah, so there were three people in this in this uh, in this dialogue. So I just pretty much wrote out the dialogue, and I'm going to show you guys um, what you need to do. So once you start the course book, what you want the first thing you want to do is combine two chapters you want to take chapter one and chapter two and what's the point of combining two chapters you want to combine those two chapters and um, for grammar for the, the, the construction so take chapter one chapter two go straight to the, the grammar section and see to see what they're what they're introducing and, and make sure you're familiar with those constructions okay so for both chapter one and chapter two you want to go straight to the grammar section and see um, if you're familiar with those constructions or not, if you've learned them before. Now, if you haven't learned them, if you haven't learned them before, then you want to go ahead and, and, and use learn those and make some sentences, make some sentences out of those constructions so you can get used to them. Okay, so that's the first thing you're gonna do. Combine two chapters, chapters one, chapter two, go straight to the grammar section, see what they have. Um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with them, you learn that real quick and then you make some example sentences using those constructions. Okay. After you do that, you're going to go back to chapter one and go to the dialogue. Okay, that dialogue I wrote out. You're going to go to that dialogue. You're going to listen to it over and over and over and over again until you understand it fully without having to look at the vocabulary. Okay, you want to listen to the dialogue over and over and over. Okay, so once you do that, once you feel comfortable, you you, you understand the dialogue completely. Then. Um, you can make some exercises like they have exercises they have like an exercise section like a fill in the blanks I normally don't do that I wouldn't recommend filling the blanks because you wouldn't have to however they have a translation section where they ask you to translate the English into like let's say Hindi they'll give you an English sentence and they will want you to translate that you can do that I think that would be pretty useful but you don't have to do the fill in the blanks I don't think you have to do that but one exercise I normally use is I go back to the dialogue, okay, and I take the content and I make up some, I make something up out of the content, as you can see here, okay. So this first dialogue between these people, I just pretty much made up. I use, I use the, um, I use the tech or the keywords, just make something up. For example, um, this is all from the dialogue. I just made it all coming from the dialogue. So although Raj is a kid, he seems to know a lot about vehicles. So although is a keyword, seems is a keyword, about is a keyword. Now the reason why I chose the sentence is because here uh, they mentioned something about Japanese car, okay? And um, yeah, Raj mentioned something. He said, no, it's not a Japanese submerged car. So he, he mentions, mentions something about the... Uh, Car. So I say, okay, what can I use from this dialogue? What kind of sentence can I make up? So although Raj, because we know Raj is a kid, so I want to say although Raj is a kid, I use although because it's a keyword, and I'm going to talk about Raj. So although Raj is a kid, he seems to know a lot about vehicles. Okay, so that's why I chose this, and all this stuff is based off this dialogue. So this is what you want to do. You want to make up your own exercises like this use the keywords and just be creative with it and make anything up.
Okay, the second one, in Pratop's opinion, Raj is very smart because he's very young and knows a lot about vehicles. Now, they didn't say anything about uh, Pratop thinking he's smart. I just made this up. And I wanted to use in Pratop's opinion because it's, this is a key word, in someone's opinion or to someone. And Raj is very smart because he's very young and knows a lot about vehicles. So very smart. I want to use this one here. Because apparently he knows about vehicles, he knows about vehicle, vehicles, so he's smart. So I want to use very because he's a, he's very young, because very young and knows a lot about vehicles. Yeah, because he's young and knows a lot about vehicles. So that's the second thing I use. And as you can see, I use several keywords here. Okay. The next one, Kamala often tells Raj that he should pursue his interest in vehicles since that's what he really likes. So often is a key word, tells, uh, should, since, really. Okay, now I didn't say anything, again, I didn't say anything about, she didn't mention anything about, um, she tells him that he should pursue that. I made that up. I wanted to use Kamala, I just made something up from that, just made something up my own. Okay, and it's dealing with vehicles, so I just try to make up my own sentence with that. Okay, so. For the top is Indian, and he says that he will go to Japan in order to learn Japanese. So, and, keyword, says, says will be considered a keyword, in order to, we mentioned that before, in order to is a keyword. So, for top is Indian, because he mentioned to him being Indian in dialogue, so I went back and used that. He's Indian, and, keyword, he says that he will, he didn't say, but I just made this up. He says that he will go to Japan in order to learn Japanese. So I used Japanese because Japanese was mentioned here about a car. So I said, okay, what can I use with something pertaining to Japanese? I decided to use Japanese language. So he says that he will go to Japan in order to learn Japanese. He didn't really say it in the dialogue. It's just something I made for my own exercise. So that's what I do. Okay, and this is what you should do. Now, like I said, they have the exercise section here where you fill in the blank. You don't have to do that. I don't do that. And um, to be honest with you, I don't use the translation. You don't have to, but I think it's good. You can you can do that. You can do do the translation exercise, but you don't have to. So this is what you're gonna do with the dialogue. You're gonna listen to the dialogue, okay, until over and over until you get comfortable with it. You feel that you understand it completely, and then you're gonna make up some sentences just like this, and make sure you use the key words, okay? You're gonna do that. And whatever, whatever the uh, the constructions were, like when you combine chapter one and chapters two, you can go ahead and use those here as well. Practice those, you know, with the dialogue. And you're gonna do that through the whole book. Okay, we already you combine chapter one, chapter two, and you listen to all dialogue in chapter one and do the same thing as you did here, and then go to chapter two and go, you know, listen to that dialogue in chapter two, and you're gonna do the same thing. Now. They have a box full of vocabulary. Now, I don't recommend uh, memorizing all that vocabulary in a box. What you want to do is just just focus on all the all the vocabulary material in the dialogue, because they have they actually have uh, vocabulary in the box that you won't see in a dialogue. Perhaps some. If you don't see them, you don't have to learn them. Just focus on all of the vocabulary, all the all the dialogues, like everything in the dialogue, you want to focus on that. That's what you want to focus on. Okay. So that's it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you utilize the book. So you're going to combine combine two chapters each time. And after you combine those two chapters for the construction, you're going to go back to the previous chapter, listen to all the dialogues and, and until you get used to them, you fully understand them, and then make your example sentence, make these type of sentences here. Okay, it's just like an exercise. You're gonna do that with all dialogues. Okay, so that's how you utilize the book. And I will say, if you use Teach Yourself book, you use this technique. You do go through this whole book. I think you will be at least on an upper intermediate level. I believe you'll be on an upper an upper intermediate level after completing this book and going through what I just showed you here. Guaranteed. Okay. So that wraps it up. That's pretty much it for this foreign language role running technique. And um, yes, thanks for viewing. And uh, that would be.
be it for it.